Hey there, nomads. I want to be a nomad too. Just one question. What do you guys do for work out on the road? That's one of the most asked questions on any blog, forum, Facebook group that has anything to do with nomadic travel. On a certain Facebook group, this question comes up so often that if you ask it, you're probably going to get your head bitten off by some misanthropic feral cat driving around in a van somewhere who's going to shame you to sh for not doing a search first. To be fair, you probably should have searched the group first, that's what the search is for, but since you asked, I'm going to give you some answers to that question that you probably haven't heard before. Stick around. I think that being an itinerant gambler could be a great job in 2019 America. Just traveling from state to state, finding a poker game and jumping in. All you really have to know is when to hold them and when to fold them. When to walk away and when to run. Poker Atlas is a website that'll tell you all the games that are in your zip code. Of course, that's only going to be the straight up, you know, legal games. It's not going to be the home games. You're on your own for those. That's gonna be the tricky part as a nomad is finding the home games because I bet there's a lot of money to win there. Now I have to point out that this video is for entertainment purposes only and I am not encouraging you to become a gambler. Shake it up, try something different. Don't be so afraid of the law. I am amazing, I'm Do you have expertise in a particular topic or are you maybe just kind of a general smart ass? General smart ass at your service. You can use both your real expertise and your general smart ass skills by setting up a profile on Sixia. Sixia is a site that allows people to call you for advice um, and you get to charge them on a per call basis. You set your own rate and um, you write a bio and you say what subjects you're an expert in and don't let that word expert fool you, okay? If you put solar in your van or your bus, you're an expert. Well, you don't have to have a degree in solar electronics if there is such a degree, to be an expert. You just have to have done it. Because the people that call you are gonna be people who have not done it and are looking for some help with doing it. So yeah, there you go. Now you got a business going. Business that will just keep going for you while you're out there on the road. Cause I am amazing, I'm fresh, I'm flossy, I'm blessed. So far we've been talking about the kind of jobs that you can kind of do from anywhere. They're basically work at home jobs and your home is your vehicle, so therefore you're gonna do the job from your vehicle. But there are some jobs where you being a nomad, being on the road is gonna be the reason you get the job. When I had my vintage store in California, I sold a lot of furniture and I was always looking for people to drive that furniture to wherever it had to go. Like let's say it had to go from me in California to somebody in Illinois. I would have to find a driver to take that. And a lot of times I'd use services like U-Ship where um, what you're generally working with is truck drivers who have a little extra space in their truck and can throw something in there. But now there are these services popping up that are like Uber for deliveries basically. And some of them are just local only, but some of them, there's one called roadie.com in particular that are basically nationwide. So it's what they call it is an on the way delivery service. Okay, so if you happen to be on a trip and you're going from, uh, from the Las Vegas area to um, Tennessee, right? You might find somebody that's got a package that's gonna, that's right on your way and you can make some money just for sticking that in your vehicle. You need some room in your vehicle to carry some things. You need the app, you need a pretty decent driving record and that's about it. Now I tried to sign up for this service and I have a driving record so they wouldn't let me, but I bet you could do it. If you're not picky about where you're going and you're more just kind of meandering, you could actually set your travel based on what deliveries you had and make a lot of money. So something to think about. I think customers might get a kick out of it if they saw a little school bus roll up with their dinette set, maybe. Okay, I have been dying to tell you about this one. What would you say if I told you that you could make a living taking pictures of your feet? Don't even have to include your legs. Certainly not your face, just your feet. Look it up, I'm not making it up. There's people all over the internet who will buy pictures of your feet. And because you're traveling, you could put a whole new spin on it. You could shoot them on the beach, you could shoot them in the forest, you could shoot them in the desert, it doesn't matter. Your feet romping through the waves, your feet crunching through the sand, your 
feet on a mossy carpet. Your feet anywhere. That could even be your shtick. I take my feet all over the country and I send you pictures of my feet all over the country. That could be the thing that you become famous for. I'm assuming people would like to see some variety in their foot shots, but I might be wrong. Maybe they just want the feet. I don't know. Well, where do you sell these pictures of your feet? Well, all over social media. I mean, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. How about Craigslist? I mean, you, people sell feet pictures everywhere. I've never noticed any, but I guess they've always been there. Some of the things you really need to think about is you've got to have a watermark because you can't be just giving those feet away. You know, you're going to have to put previews up for people to want to see your feet more. And um, you're going to have to watermark those so that people don't just steal your foot pictures and say it's their foot picture, for example. You know, there's a lot of that kind of foot plagiarism out there. So you got to make sure that your feet are protected. It's also helpful if you have nice looking feet. I mean, if your feet are gross, it's going to be a lot harder to find a buyer. So try to take care of your feet. You know, it's, it's not always easy when you're on the road, but hey, you can get a pedicure in most parts of this great country of ours. And you know, if you're traveling to a place where you know you can't, then just get one before you go. If you batch shoot the foot pictures, you can get a lot out of it. I think it's essential too that you probably set up like new social media accounts for this because I know I feel a little uncomfortable about suddenly announcing on my personal social media, hey guys, want to buy pictures of my feet? You know, I, my Instagram's just not really for that. I'm going to link down below to a video I found on YouTube, which is really good information dispensed really quickly. I think you're going to learn a lot. You could make a living traveling in your RV, van, schoolie, traveling on a Greyhound bus. It doesn't even really matter. It doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing, you could make a living selling pictures of your feet. If you've ever done something really weird to support yourself, put it in the comments down below. Whether you were a nomad or not, I'd love to hear about it. So I hope that got your mind working on some of the unusual ways that you could earn a living as a nomad. There's a lot more out there. It's a great big world full of jobs. Just go grab one and get going.